me, but the girl, the guys. Have you put the girls? They do act like girls, don't they? Yeah, they do act like girls. <laughs> Turn down for what? What's going on guys, welcome to today's vlog. It is Wednesday the 15th of August and we're just about to go and look at a new unit that Sarah might be going into up over at Top Mosley. Well, not Top Mosley, it's like, I think it's more like Staley Bridge really. It's over at the top near Mosley Island. So we're gonna start the day today properly. It's not gonna be a wasted day like it was yesterday and then mid afternoon I'm gonna nip over to the office. I'm not gonna go back there tonight. Uh, Daz can deal with it later on tonight and then um, come back, build the ANA A8 and um, yeah, start the day properly. So we need to get this day officially started. So we just got back from the studio that we went to look at and it's absolutely amazing. So Matt has actually agreed that we can have the new studio and keep the whole, the whole, the old studio for £200 a month, which is a total bargain. So we're gonna use the other studio, mainly for storage, but what I'm gonna do is, where it's not wet, we're actually gonna like build like a box so we can put all the stuff that we've got downstairs, in there, so it's like a storage unit, and then probably just put some um, mirrors up on one wall, and get a few chairs so we can just like do hairdressing in there or you know get a few people in there just to do hair and stuff so they can be ready to come to the other studio if they're having like a makeover done or whatever and then the little room that I've got that's going to be a makeup room so I will probably be using that once I've actually done a course which I'm planning to either do with Curse there from Mobile Makeup For You or with, I think she's called Paige, maybe, from P. Louise, um, which is another makeup studio that's like really highly recommended. And they actually are able to now qualify you as a makeup artist and give you certificates. So, anyway, just for checking and let you know. So, is hoping that we can get in because in this one there's two massive windows which is even better because obviously it's great to have natural lighting especially when you're doing newborns so once the new windows have been in is looking for us to move into it the second week of september so fingers crossed can't wait to show you i wish we would have took the camera in now so you could have had the look but like all the plaster boards up all it needs is someone to come in and actually skim the walls and that is basically it and then just some nice flooring down so there's not really much else to do in it because it's just amazing it's got a brand new door in it and it's actually warmer in this studio because it's kind of in the middle and it's not like the other one i'm kind of nearer to the roof which was a nightmare because obviously you get most of the cold and then the one underneath you get all the cold because the doors are always open where this one is actually in the middle so you kind of like a trap between the heat of the two level other levels so that should be good anyway i'm just cracking on and making the kids a bacon butty can you hear them shouting there because vanellope's winding them up as usual so i'm going to go and sort her out and do the kids dinner so we'll check back in with you guys shortly so i'm at the office now with daz and we were literally up here what two or three minutes if that and we had a massive bang outside now, I'm not going to show you the crash because it would be pretty vulgar to show it because it's a bad crash, but um, there was an accident outside the office, a uh, Land Rover um, got the, the woman, the old lady on the other side of the road basically, um, she's disabled so we don't know what's happened, um, she reared into this brand, brand new Range Rover, um, it's twisted all the underside of the car at the back and there was a lady on the other side of the road and it missed her by about this, this much as she suffers with ME so as you can hear, that's the, the fireman cutting the top of the car off. Um, thankfully, the old lady, she's, she seems all right. Um, I think she was called Sandra. She had no charge on her battery on her phone, so I brought her a phone upstairs and I rang her daughter and a couple of her friends and let them know. Um, so that kind of put her mind at ease, but they can't get her out of the car, so they're gonna have to cut her out. Not that she's like trapped in the car, I think. It's, is it easier for them to get them out? Yeah. For, for, for a neck? Yeah, yeah it's easier for them. Yeah, it's, it's easier for them to move them when the, the, the top's off the uh, the car, so. Um, 
we're basically trapped in here for a couple of hours now until the road reopens and stuff. So uh, we've we've cracked on with everything, but uh, you know what? It's just it's just a mess. I feel sorry for her. I really do, and I feel sorry for the girl on the other side of the road as well. That she was like, she nearly got it. Well. Got it. Yeah, and she's in a, she's in a bad way. So uh, we'll keep you posted with what's going on. All right, guys. So I'm back home now. The uh, the road's still closed. They've got the lady out now. A daughter came, a daughter was absolutely devastated, so I just spoke to her daughter and said, look, you know, she seems all right. They had to actually cut the doors off, the steering wheel, the seats out, the roof, everything on that car to get her out on, um, like, uh, you know, one of them struts, them braces that they lift them out with. So I've left as there now. I've had to bring that printer back again because it's not printing properly still um, for some odd reason i don't know why it just keeps jamming when it's going in all the other printers are working fine apart from dazzy's that he brought that's starting to be a bit of a pain now so i've come home and sarah is cooking me a sunday dinner on a wednesday because we love a roast in this house don't we yeah can't beat a good roast you really can't so what we're going to do is we're going to get vanilla pe to bed in about an hour's time and then we're going to go over and see kate and miles because it's miles birthday today he's one He's, he's one, even though he looks six months old, he's one, bless him. So we're gonna go over, drop his present off, drop his cards off, um, vlog while we're at Kate's, and then I've left my MacBook um, at the office, as you can hear, Vanellope's uh, knows that mom. So I've left my MacBook at the office, so I'm gonna have to go over to the office as well, run in, pick that up, because uh, I can't do any YouTube work, can't edit or anything without it, so. I'm gonna have to go over and get that. And I can't believe Sarah's unit, the new unit that she's going into, is absolutely fantastic. More on that, I'm sure, in the next couple of weeks. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna get Vanellope to sleep. In fact, I'm gonna show her a unicorn in a minute, so hopefully she'll be in the mood to go on camera. If not, you know how it is with us. They don't wanna be, they're never gonna be. So we're just on our way out to go and see Miles now. Imogen's done a brilliant job of cleaning the kitchen for me, look. She could. So we're just going to go and see Miles, Kate and Tom. Well, we're not going to nip Asda first and pick up some cards and then we're going to go. So. And then she's going to get me some Pringles, so um, I'll update you on my Pringles. Yeah, and Imogen wants Pringles, so we're going to pick some up. So we'll see you when we get there. Later that same evening. So we just got to Kate's. And Tom, <laughs> Thomas isn't here, what? is at work. Can he walk? Yeah. So, Can no, he? we can't walk yet. Have you seen how tiny he, he is? He puts his feet on the floor and he can walk. Oh. <gasps> Let yeah. me see. He puts his tippy toes The on. birthday boy. No, Miles. Oh, you've seen your present. Oh, <laughs> this is for you. Do you want to open it? Us all. Do you want to open it? Take that off, that. Oh, here. Are you opening it with the, girl, the guys? Did you pull? The girls. They do act like girls, don't they? Girls. <laughs> yeah, they do act like girls. <laughs> Get it, Miles. Take Just it need out. your pigtails in, don't Take you, son? It. Take it. <gasps> What's that? Mm. Miles, you like it? Miles. <gasps> you got some new trainers. Open it. Open that. Open the box. Open. Got some nice trainers. <gasps> wow. What did you get? What do you say? Oh, wow. Look. Look at them. Miles. Look. Can you see him? <gasps> no, you've got dirty hands, you. <laughs> Don't put your mucky fingers on there. Have you seen there. this? It's so cute. It's actually a pyjama set. Oh, that's good because I'm actually going to get With a night coat, a top and a pair of pants. He wants to open And it's Mickey Mouse, so you can't beat it. Get his socks. And then you've got some socks to wear in the winter with him. What do you say, Miles? Miles! Give Kate. Pull it out! Pull it! Pull it! Pull! Pull! Let him pull it. Me's thinking, no, I want the cake. Pull! Ready? Pull! Pull! He's still chewing on that donut! I really want some chocolate cake. Yay! Yay! Boy! Let's see! Miles, pull it again! Miles! Miles! Hold on, he can only do one at a time. No, he's oh, chewing it. But let him give him that one, not you. That nice. Get that out of your mouth, it's not chocolate. It says, get off. <laughs> it says, to you, Miles, have a beautiful first birthday, lots of love, Sarah, Dave, and kids. Get it off, no. 
Ah! Now we now it's shimmering back on it. <laughs> oh wait, let's open it. Open! Give it to his mum quick so she can stand it up. <laughs> ah, you can't eat it now. Oh, you're going to shout it off. He has another can. I know, that just stays in there. You can colour that in. Miles, what's that? You can colour it in. You can play with that one. Can I play with it? Let's bite it. This is bite, super bite, cool, bite. this. It's a bag and it comes saying a special delivery for, but I can't roll his name on it. Wait, look, ready? Stand up. Let Porsche just have her fixed first. Jesus. Be careful. He's like, what are you doing? <laughs> Why are you laying me down? I'm not going back. <laughs> oh, super cute, isn't it? Are you super cute? Yeah. Yeah. An hour ago, in 19 minutes, he was born an hour ago. In 19 minutes, an hour ago. In 19 minutes, he was born an hour ago. Oh, so Coney Joel's have had their baby. What did they have? A boy. What did they call it? I don't know the name yet. You have to buy the book. Terence. <laughs> what? It's not Terence. Where's the bike? Each now. He's laughing, he's laughing at, at you. you and you're not even doing anything. I'm looking to, for the Sigourney Jolie's son's name. How many have they got then? Is four, it four now. now? This is the You've got two girls in a book. Only two, two boys. boys now, isn't it? Yeah. Are they Irish then? Yeah. Yeah. Stop being Irish then. No, I don't know because of the other kids. Got Irish Irish name. Little boy's name. Is it a, a, or something? a little longer than a few minutes later. Alright guys, so we're back from my Ulls and Kate's now and I'm about to end today's vlog. Look what's back. Two printers, yeah. This one still won't print for some reason. Nah, that one. That one there. The uh the A10. The other one, the Aina A8, that's what I've been saying I'm gonna be building. I've got quite a way through it today, but the bearings sound a bit. Listen to this. We'll see when it's uh, when it starts up. If it's if it's an issue, it'll just have to be taken apart, unfortunately. But it doesn't sound too clever. I'm not sure. See what it's like when it's running. So, been a big day today. Been a long day, and we've vlogged quite a lot. So I am going to end it. I'm going to say, do not forget to smash the like button, subscribe if you're not already. Make sure you click the notification bell. It does nothing. Make sure you leave us a comment and we will see you guys tomorrow because we do this every single day.